open invitation to Notre Dame that we all know about. And then I think that what's going to happen is you'll have NC State and Miami end up in the Big 12. Now, last on that list is probably who's the, who's the, who's the next team that the Big 12 would want to add. I would argue they should maybe look at going after Louisville. They can go after two schools, Louisville, Duke, Louisville, Georgia Tech. I mean, Duke and NC State in the Big 12 would actually be very good for that conference. I mean, the Big 12 already has uh, – their only teams east of the Mississippi River right now are Cincinnati, UCF, and – Guys, help me out. Who's the third team from the Big Twelve? West Virginia. West Virginia. If the Big Twelve can get, if the Big Twelve can get a couple North Carolina schools and another Florida school, that helps travel for the Big Twelve out there. And the Big Twelve then is very, very, very strong. Dan Yoder says ACC folds when FSU is gone. Well, Dan, FSU is only leaving if it does fold because they need the ACC to fold because otherwise the ACC will enforce that grant of rights agreement. D says SEC takes Clemson, Florida State, North Carolina, Virginia Tech. Georgia Tech, NC State, Louisville, and Cincinnati. ACC is done. D, they're not taking Georgia Tech. The only reason they would take Georgia Tech would be to keep the Big Ten from taking Georgia Tech, but Georgia Tech brings no value. They're not taking NC State if they're getting UNC. They might take NC State if they can't get UNC, but they're not taking NC State if they can get UNC. I agree with you with Virginia Tech. I mean, if the SEC, if the SEC wants to go to 24 teams, Louisville and Cincinnati could be on there, but – there's not much value with those yet. The biggest values, this is the values in order of the programs. Florida State, Clemson, UNC, Virginia. That's the top four. That's the clear-cut top four. And then Miami, Virginia Tech, and NC State. It's, it's that order, basically, of value. And so I do think what helps the SEC... I, where the SEC is going to have a fight on its hands is with the Big Ten with UNC and Virginia. Those are AAU schools, which the Big Ten cares about its academics, and AAU schools are a big deal for them. On top of that, they bring a lot of extra value. So the Big Ten, I think, is going to go all in on UNC and Virginia, and actually they have more to offer them than the SEC does at this point because the SEC has dropped the ball a lot, and it's kind of a big deal how much the SEC has dropped the ball. So that's that's kind of a concern. But I will say that the Big Ten, if they do add those schools, the SEC has always had the option of NC State and Virginia Tech. The Big Ten doesn't have the option, really, of NC State and Virginia Tech. So that's just worth paying attention to. But the Big Ten has, right now, I'll finesse the SEC. You got Oregon, Washington, USC, UCLA out west. You got a nice little travel region right there. Perfect for them. And the SEC has to be careful. But pay attention to what happens to the ACC. That is kind of a big thing. Dan, you say Georgia Tech, academic Big Ten. Yes, the question, though, is does Georgia Tech bring enough value for the Big Ten? It's a TV market and it's academics. But Georgia Tech is not that good of a brand. And brand does matter. I mean, it matters a lot. Again, if it was just about TV markets, Big Ten would have jumped out to add Oregon and Washington last year when they could get the Seattle and uh, Portland markets. That's not going to happen this year. I mean, that's not what happened. Now, Big Ten wanted them at, was only going to take them at a discount. Nathan says Big 12 gets Pitt. That's a good one, actually. Uh, Pittsburgh has a Big 12 team is good. Also, Syracuse, Boston College. There are going to be some teams left out. Maybe not as much as we think, though. Because, guys, it's possible the Big 12, SEC, and Big 10 get so big that they each get 24 teams, which would be more Power 5 teams in the future than there are right now. Because I think there are 69 Power 5 teams right now. That gets you to 72 just in three different conferences. So watch out. There's a lot that could come out of this.